tell you, I'm like really, really looking forward to this. Just to relax, like not rush, rush, rush from one place to another. Yeah. I definitely like Larissa a lot. We have this definite physical attraction between us, um, but it's it's definitely way more than that too. Look at that box. Wow. You see what it is? Yeah. I'll let, I guess I'll help you pull it in. I'll just... Okay. I want to see what's in this thing. It's kind of heavy. There's some good stuff in here. Jim is the only guy that really gives me butterflies as soon as I see him. And there's this intensity about him. And just being on a deserted island with some hot guy has got to be like every woman's fantasy. Wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> what do we have here? This stuff looks really old. Wow. Today I was picked up from the house and I wasn't told anything. <laughs> I was told to wear a pair of shorts and a shirt, you know? We came to the marina, and next thing you know, they told me I was going on a submarine ride. Here I am. I've never been on a sub before. I've seen them in movies. I am very excited. I can't wait for this thing to happen. This is absolutely awesome. All clear to dive. You think maybe there's some matches in here? We can make a fire? Maybe. That was the kind of date that I wanted, was to just be able to hang out where there was no distractions, no outside influences on anything we were doing. We kept each other company, and that's, that was all we needed. <laughs> this is too funny. We kept laughing at the simplicity of the date. Spam. Is it spam? Oh, God, I bet. All right, let's cook some. All we had to do was a simple task of making a fire, maybe making some food to eat, and just simply talking. How's the spam looking? It looks great. Is it sticking? Yeah, a little bit. I like a guy that knows how to cook spam. Yeah? <laughs> well, you're in luck. <laughs> I think it's almost done, but I really don't know how to tell when spam is done. Zero five seven, zero five nine. I'm driving along, I'm driving the sub, you know, it was awesome, having a great time. I'm really not sure what's going to happen, but uh, I think I'll be all right. So what were you most looking forward to for tonight? Just hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing you again. Spending more than 20 minutes with you. Yeah, that's true. We haven't had a whole lot of time. Yeah. How about you? I know for a fact that Jim likes me. I know at this point that he does and that he's here for the potential of having a relationship, I think. I was looking forward to seeing you for sure. Yeah. Picking your brain. What do you want to know? Where do you envision yourself to be in five years? What do you want to do? It's kind of up in there, you know? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to kind of see what happens mm -hmm. for a little bit. And, you know, I definitely, I definitely have the flying thing. I think of Jim as kind of like a free spirit. He doesn't really know what his next move is going to be. And he's kind of just riding the waves right now to find out where he's going to go. It's mm, nice. Um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Wait, didn't we have some coconut oil? Why, you want to give me a massage? Yeah. Can I give you one later? Uh-huh. The fact that he is so romantic, he knows all the right moves, it does kind of worry me because I'm like, OK, is he like this with every girl, or is it actually because he likes me? What do you, what do you see yourself doing in five years? In five years, let's see, I'll be, well, I'm almost 25. And I'm hoping by then that, you know, maybe I'll start a family. Um, but I think before that point, I need to make sure that I'm settled where I need to be in my life, in my career. And before I get to that point, I think it's important to know that I'd be financially secure enough to provide a good home for my, my children. Please adjust bearing seven degrees south, southwest. Copy. I'm absolutely positively happy that I found someone like Larissa. I'm very happy that she turned out being the person that she is because I didn't expect it at all. Uh, copy. Yeah, we made you out of here. So when do you what do you think it takes to know when you're in love? I don't know, I think you just know. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? What do you think? I think, ultimately, I think you know when you're willing to give up everything for somebody. Mm. 
And I kept thinking about you, and I don't know what it is, but when I'm with you, I feel like you look at me, and I feel like there's the world stops. Like, you don't notice anything else. When I'm with Jim, I literally feel like I'm in a high fashion ad or something. I mean, I feel like I'm in a Ralph Lauren commercial. Make your depth five zero feet. Down bubble. Final approach, T minus six minutes. I get, I get stereotyped a lot as that I'm stupid, you know? Mm-hmm. Why? And I don't know. I just do. He's just so ideal in in his physical beauty and his the way he handles himself. I mean, he like just stepped out of a romance novel. Let's go. Let's go walk in the water. All right. <laughs> I'm driving the sub, and all of a sudden, I'm handed a monitor. And all of a sudden, on that monitor, a text message came across. Fredo, this submarine is currently stationed 40 yards off a private beach. Larissa and Jim are enjoying their private evening together on shore. Your orders are to come to Periscope Depth and witness the truth. I read the text message, and um, my stomach started to drop. All right, let's go. Servicing. I didn't want to see what I saw. When we come back, it was definitely one of the sexiest moments I've ever had. A night of passion and romance on the beach. It made me feel like nobody else here does. But it's also a night of heartbreak. And pest. And disappointment offshore for an average Joe. You know what? I'm just held her over. That's all I can say. It's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Unreal. I mean, I, I did really thought that uh, you know you, she, there was, she had a better head. I really did. You know, whatever. Do you realize how handsome you are? I think she's. She's showing a little bit of shallowness, quite a bit, because um, I think she's basing everything off of looks at this point. Hmm. <laughs> now that I've told you three times. She's got a crush on him. He's got a crush on her. What the hell is a crush? What the hell is wrong with you? one date with Jim, I mean, once you have a crush on him, the dude's definitely, I mean, I know him at the house, I mean, he's not a conversation piece, that's for damn sure. It's gross, it really is. I mean, I just thought of her more than that, but, you know, I I don't know if I was wrong. I, I must have been. Oh, this is nice. Now you're gonna spoil me. <laughs> <laughs> 